Okay, CC friends, and this is in no particular order. This is just the stack I put right next to me. Um, this is not cycle two, but we do love it. So I put it in here. We end up getting this. This is uh, $5.99. This is about rocks and minerals. This went with cycle one, and my kids have loved it. Uh, rock identifier. Throwing that out there. For art, we have loved this one. This one does cover uh, quite a few different cycles. And um, for that first six weeks, it covers abstract art, perspective, some of those other ones. This is one of the pictures we, we do. I can't remember which cycle, or maybe later in cycle two. Not exactly sure. But be aware there is some nudity in here, um, tactfully, but that's what the sculptures did. So just to be aware of that so you are aware. Um, Latin. First thousand words in Latin. We have loved this. We used to have a Latin of a day. I probably need to bring that back. A Latin word of the day. They just go pick a word and we'd write it down and try to learn it. So, um, so yeah. And it's really, really neat. And it has, I think this one does not have the English words. You have to kind of go, it's got like a little thing in the back. But it tells you for you Latin people, the masculine feminine and neuter so so yeah we really like this it's really cute so that is our Latin I'm gonna put it over here my piles okay I have three books here these are the different the sources we have gathered this is one I accidentally bought and the not your everyday and your big picture basically for my different ages this one is really neat because it just, it's just a very simple thesaurus. Um, this one's a little bit harder for like our essential kids. Like if I want to know a, a certain word, I'm gonna use this one. If I'm talking about something like when we did nights, we pulled up the nights one and then we found words there too. Or sometimes we'll have them both open. This one is really cool. This is like, that big picture one, but it's just has so many, it just has a lot more words, but it's kind of set the same. So like, look, we did Vikings. Um, and so we had this one and it was describing barbaric, brutal, fearsome, ruthless. So things like that, um, was really nice. So, um, a lot more, if I'm correct, it does like a lot more adjectives and nouns versus, um, necessarily adverbs and adjectives. Um, so that's your the sources we use all those the sources okay these are two that were really really neat specific to cycle two this one i loved i couldn't wait to get this mystery plague rocks europe this is called the medieval messenger so it's written like a newspaper so it has basically different articles based on that um, i personally haven't read it i just give it to drew and say here pick two articles and so that one has gone over really well and they love this one all the kids love this one. I haven't even told them anything about Shakespeare, and they're telling me things about Shakespeare because of where's Will, William Shakespeare. And so, the kids know which one's Will is. I don't even, I think this is Will. And basically it's like, where's Waldo, but where's Will? And it does an introduction to the stories and the different characters, and so they're starting to learn more about it, and I, I'm not even a big Shakespeare buff, so, so yeah. They have loved this one. Again, covers all the ages. Uh, let's see. Oh, the encyclopedias. I love the encyclopedias for this one because I feel like I use it more for CC than anything else. So they have quite a few different encyclopedias. They have like a science one. They may have an American history. I don't know all the different exactly ones they, they do have, but we have really liked this. I think they, I remember, yeah. Just be aware that this is not creation science space. This talks about millions of years, which we have discussed. And there's something in here too about like a caveman and a little bit of evolution. So just so you are aware of that uh, caveman. So, but we use it as a um, good discussion for our family that there are just different beliefs out there. But, um, but yeah, other than that, we have really enjoyed this. Very taxful, very simple, um, living in a castle. And so we will definitely, we pull this out as reference. And then they have, these are older, so I don't know if they still have these, but these are the first encyclopedias. And so first encyclopedia of science, animal world, animals, and our world. 
and we have used this many times even if sometimes it will just bring up the um, presentation just thoughts and ideas like oh we're doing this well oh that that makes me want to but just like your yeah, basic encyclopedia so we've really enjoyed those we haven't used this one as much and the irony is this is probably one of the first as more things I had bought but um, it does come with a map in the back pretty big map and it's just a little bit too busy and my kids were non-readers at the time we're definitely using this more now that my kids read that's just the truth um, because it's a lot of reading. It's just really busy, but we do enjoy it. Um, and when we start going in like those little places, it's hard to tell what belongs to Ireland and it's harder to tell, um, but they are learning things and it's really neat to see what they do pick up. And Osborne goes into like the whole flat thing and kids retain more. That's the gist of it. Uh, one of the other things we have liked is these wrap ups. Uh, we have, addition and multiplication we need to get the others but um if you've never seen these these are really simple you pick the one you want you know four times one is four two times one is two and then on the back it will match up to the lines so you can self check so that is that is our math favorites that is stuff we have purchased quite a bit <laughs> so those are my cc favorites wanted to keep it short simple sweet have any questions let me know happy shopping thanks bye